Gang, 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 gang. KK, get it, let's go. Just sign me a deal. That's a lot of punani. Could've bought me a house, but I bought a Bugatti. Could've bought me a franchise. I give you my word. Could've bought me a KFC, cause I'm moving them birds. Could've fucked your baby mama, man. That bitch is in favor. After all, my name Kane. You know that I'm able. I've been pushing packs for years. I get them in blocks. Been on the corner flipping pigeons since Christopher Wallace. Don't mistake me for homie. Trust me, I bring in the bacon. The other niggas faking Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy KK47 in the building to shoot. <laughs> Listen, man. Today I got another one for y'all, man. It's my boy Jesse Lee Peterson from the Fallen State, man. Yo, this dude is hilarious, bro. Like, I don't know, man. I need to sit with him one day, no diddy, and see what he's all about. Because, I don't know. He be asking those questions a lot of people are scared to ask it. This one right here, this one right here is good. So, yo, if you like what you see, you know what to do, man. Hit that like, share, comment, all of that, or else you know what's gonna happen. Call gonna pull up. You know what I'm saying? Say hit that subscribe, hit that subscribe, hit that subscribe. And if you don't hit the subscribe, you know what happens? Let's get to it. What's wrong with the blacks? What do, what do you mean? What's wrong with the blacks? Just in general? Yeah. With every black person or the black no, community? Not all, not all, not all, but most black people. What's wrong with, they seem to be out of control, the angry. black people are out of control. Angry, violent, uh, mad at everybody, killing one another. What's wrong with the blacks? I'm, I'm honestly not too sure. I'm not uh, too educated on the black people. I would say that you probably know more than me because you're black. You, do you ever see any blacks? Yeah, I have a couple of black friends. Most of them are African-American. Most of them are? African-American. And are they like white acting black or are they black black? What do you mean? If they're white and black? Are they, do they act like white people? Your friend, your friend's black, your friend. No, my, I have black friends who are also African-American. How can that be? They're, they are black and African-American. But how, you can't be both. How, why not? How can, how, how can you be both? Because uh, they were just born like that. What do you mean? You know, I say, are you black? They say, I'm black. But if I say, are you African-American? They say, I'm African-American. They're both. But if you, you're black, right? Okay. You're born in America, so you'll be American black. And then now oh, you're, you're saying, saying they're not African. Now you're saying that they're African and they are black and they're American. That's Can't just be... what they tell me. And what do you think about that? Um, I, I usually just take their word for it. I'm not, because I don't know all of their exact roots of if they were actually African, African. Are you afraid of them? Afraid of black people? Yeah. Not typically. But a little bit? A little bit. But a little <laughs> bit with, uh, you know, it, it divulges with certain people. Like if I saw a little Asian guy, I'm not going to be scared. Right. But if I see uh, one of the skinhead white people, I will be a little bit, you know, a little bit wary. You would? You wouldn't be scared if you saw a skinhead, uh, like tattooed white? No. Not at all? No. I would be a little bit. Why? Well, just uh, they're probably racist to me. You know what I mean? Really? Do you love white people? I uh, love everybody. Do you love white people? Yeah. You love white people? I love white people. Oh, nice. Most people are afraid to admit that they love. They are afraid to admit they love white people? Yeah. No, I love white people. Do you love white people? Yes. Do you love black people? Yes. See, there we go. It's. Uh, I think you should be able to say you love everybody. That's right. Um, do you think we need more white babies? What do you mean, just more white people? Yeah, because they say that in a couple of years, white people are gonna become the mi minorities, and then the people of color are gonna become the majority. Do you think we need more white babies to prevent that from happening? You're saying that the white people will no longer be over 50%? Right. But I think there will still be more white people than any other minority group. Well, they're saying that it won't. They're saying that it won't because be? Because white people are not having a lot of white babies anymore. And they're having abortions and things like that. Yeah. 
and so they'll become a minority. Does that make you tremble with the idea that white people might be the minority? It's not just the white thing. I have a little bit of an extreme view on abortion. I know a lot. Of, I know I might get some hate for this, but I believe we need to take one or two, like one man and one woman. Not just going for females here. We need to take like five men, five women, and then we need to make a big farm, and then we need to start breeding. And then, those, so those people, I understand that will be taking away from their freedom, but then that will solve the population issues. And you look at somewhere like Japan, and the economy is getting messed up. They're not having enough babies there. I think that's an issue going to happen in China soon too. It's, the population is very high now, but I think they made it so you can only have one baby. And then now they're getting rid of all of that. Now they're allowing unlimited or something, or like four or five. They're trying to encourage them to have more. So what I, I think we need to do is just start growing them. Just have so a farm for babies. white babies? All of them. All white babies? Well, white and then, what is the, do you know the percentage of white people in America now? No, I don't. Let's say it was 58%, I would say make 58% white, 58 per, or 30% black, if it's 30% black, just keep it where it is now, I would say. Who would you rather see running the country, black people or white people? I don't think I will have a preference for either one here. You, why not? Just uh, would, wouldn't, just wouldn't be one of the things I would be automatically considering. But black people don't know how to run anything. You don't think so? Look around you. But you are black. Right, I'm the only one. You're the only one? Yeah. But why, why do you think well, that? Well, there are a couple others. There are a couple others? But do you think that black people know how to run anything? Well, I would take it on, a, on a, a basis of an individual. Like, I would say that you're probably good at running this situation here. Tell me this. Can you name any city or town or, or state in the United States that is controlled by blacks? It's run by blacks and controlled by blacks, and most blacks live there, and you would want to go live there? Probably not. I, can't, I probably wouldn't even be able to tell you one city that's run by blacks in general. Really? Well, I would, I would just be hard. You're saying that the blacks are the, the black people are who most people think about when they're talking about the city, or the black people are the ones running the government? Run the government. I want to know which there. cities are specifically run by which races, you know what I mean? Have, uh, let, I'll name a few. Gary, Indiana. Okay. It's controlled by blacks. I don't think I've ever heard of this place. Really? What is it, Gary? G Gary, like Indiana. The, the snail from the SpongeBob? G-A-R-Y. Yeah, the Gary. Oh, it's, I don't similar, know. it's similar sounding. I don't know about this. You have a similar t-shirt to him. How about uh, uh, South Central LA? Like downtown? Yeah. That's the government well, is uh, uh, near downtown. Oh, right here, like close by. Yeah. The government is run by black people. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, it's definitely in this specific uh, circumstance not good. Yeah. A lot of homeless, a lot of crime. Very bad. What do you think about the attack on Donald Trump about by the black DAs and the Little white judges and other. The think black about, who? The uh, DA district attorneys. They're, you're saying they're suing him? Yeah. I, I, well, I think that every, all of the liberals, black, white, Asian, whatever it is, all of the liberals, it's something with their brain. They're trying to stop somebody who can fix the country because they want to create chaos. Yeah. They want to put Biden in. I don't know if you saw the video the other day, but he was in the middle of a speech and he fell asleep. No, I've seen that before. Unbelievable. What a mess. What a mess. <laughs> Not amazing. <laughs> Not amazing. It's beta. Beta. <laughs> so let me ask, do you believe racism is this? On a, for individuals or systemically? Period, yeah. I would say that somebody can be racist, but probably not inside government right now. And how can you be racist? Well, if I were to say I didn't like Asian people, I would be racist towards Asians, no? Why would that be racist? Well, would that not be the definition? But why would that be racist? Because that's the definition of racism. But, so you believe racism is this? Not systemically, but I think individuals themselves can be racist. How? By hating another uh, type of people. But if they hate them, that would be hate. That wouldn't be racist. Well, it's just describing a certain type of hate. If you hate a woman, then what is it, misogynism? Is that what they say? Yeah, you know, I'm saying it's just, it's all the same hate, but they just use racism and misogyny to describe different types of it, you know what I mean? But racism... It's just to dis distinguish what you're doing, what type of hate. Racism doesn't exist. You don't believe so? I know so. You don't think anybody can be racist? No. Why not? 
you either are of good or evil. And so you're either evil by hating your fellow man and fellow woman, or you're good by not hating them. You, you can agree and disagree, but you don't have to hate them. Do you and think if, racism is evil if it existed? It definitely exists. If it existed. But it, it can't. Hypothetically it's, here. It's impossible. You think hate is evil? Yes. Do you have any hate in your heart? No, anyone that has anger has hatred. Do you have any of that? No, nah, zero. How did you get rid of it? By realizing that I was wrong for being angry at my mother, for trying to turn me away from my father, that she couldn't help herself. What did she do? She, she didn't like my father. You know how mothers don't like fathers. She didn't like your father? Right, so she tried to keep me away. But you and forgave so I her? I forgave her for that. Did you forgive your father as well? Yes, for being a beta. He was a beta? Oh. Is your father beta or alpha? Alpha. Your father alpha? Yeah. And so he protects you from your mother? Uh, well, she, she is in prison now, so the government <laughs> is protecting me from her. The government <laughs> is protecting her from everybody. <laughs> is she going to ever get out of prison? Um, I think maybe in about, well, I think they said 30, 40 years. Really? You, that's good news, right? Why, well, we'll do a little party where we can appreciate that. I'll be about 70 by then or something. <laughs> so listen, we celebrate White History Month in July. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, I started it. Uh, this is our seventh year coming up. Seventh White History Month? Yeah, in, in July. Did you know that July, you know why I started White History Month in July? Not sure. July just feels white. Just feels white because of the sun? No. Why so? Well, that too. I hadn't thought of that. I'll add that to it. Why did you, why was it July in the first place then? It, uh, it's vacation time. It's reflection time. So you're saying all of the good stuff is white? Yes. So you don't like black people? No, I love black people. Do you think they're worse than white people? <laughs> Does the bear shit in the woods? Does the bear shit in the woods? So you're saying that you think they are worse than black? Not all, but most. What about you? What do you mean? You think that you are worse than the average white person? No. Why? I grew up on a plantation. So you're saying you grew up white? I grew up on a plantation. So you're saying you, you are more similar to a white person than the average black person? I grew up on a plantation. No, I understand. I really did. Did you know no, that? No, no, I believe you. Yeah. Down in Alabama. You were born in Alabama on a plantation? Yeah. Were you a slave? No, but I worked the plantation. My parents and their parents and their parents and their parents. But we your the white ancestors man. were slaves. And then the white people had a, they would come down and visit the plantation sometimes. They had a big white house on a hill. And then we would have to go up there and clean it up and get it ready whenever the white people would come to visit. And you're happy you don't have to do that anymore? Why? You're saying you are happy or not? But why do you say I'm happy I have to do that? Did you have a choice to do it or not? What was wrong with it? Well, I would say there's nothing wrong with it if you had the choice, but if you're forced, then it's not good. No, you weren't forced. You were allowed to say no? Yeah. Well, then it's not slavery. Then it's just a normal job. But my, but the, pla the white people owned it, though. And you know what else happened? My grandfather, my, my grandfather's father, used to run the plantation before my grandfather took over. My grandfather took over when my, his father died, right? Okay. But what happened was my grandfather hired another black man that worked on another plantation. He was fired from over there. And uh, so he came over to the plantation and asked my great grandfather for a job and he gave it to them, to him. And then late in the night, the white people came over and told my grandfather, you gotta, I mean, well, not late at night, but they told me, you can't hire him. My grandfather said, forget about you, I am gonna hire him. He hired him anyway. And then late in the night, they came to try to kill my grandfather. And my grandfather had a gun under the bed. He went for the gun and ran them off. And so he succeeded in running them off. But then they came back another night and my grandfather went for the gun, but his wife had removed the gun from the, the bed. The wife took away the gun? Yeah, and they ended up killing him. So that, so what is the moral of that story? That, uh, well, let me just say this, so they asked her, well, why did you take away the gun? He like, she was like, well, I didn't want him to do anything crazy. I didn't want him to get in trouble. She caused him to get killed. Isn't that amazing? Well, not amazing. I would say that it's a sad story. What's sad about it? It ended up dying. And? 
You don't believe that's sad? You don't feel bad for your grandfather? <laughs> but he's dead. Why would I feel so bad for him? You don't feel bad for dead people? Why? They are, they are dead. But they don't feel anything. I guess that's an interesting perspective on that. I've never heard that one before. But just think about it. The person's dead, right? No, I see what you're saying. I think it can be logical. I'm just saying I've never even heard that before. Oh, what is the purpose of feeling something for a dead person? You don't person? mourn when somebody dies? What? You don't mourn if somebody you know dies? What is that? No, mourning them, being like a funeral and all that. Yeah, I go to the funeral sometimes. But you're not sad that they died? No, why should I be? Really, I would like. I know it's a good you. question. I never thought about it like that. It's just, it's sort of the. That's just what people do without, without thinking about it. Right. Have you ever mourned a death? No, I don't think too many people, have, close to me, have died or passed away when I was very conscious. Maybe when I was very young. Right. So probably, but it's a little bit, but not like when I was uh, able to really think like a conscious human. Right. Probably not that very much, but here and there. And when you did more, why did you? Probably just out of sadness. Why were you sad? That I could no longer <laughs> see the person. But why? I would just take that guess on why. Oh, I see. So you were sad for yourself, not for them. Yeah, probably selfishly, yes. Yeah, because it was about you not being able to see them, but they weren't feeling anything about it. Yeah, they didn't care at all. Right, isn't that amazing? Amazing. What a waste of time, huh? But that's, that's why I became conscious. <laughs> and what does it mean to be conscious? Able to be, uh, well, I guess there would be my, de there's different definitions. My definition of conscious is to become a Republican. Nice. All right, y'all, there you have it, man. That boy Jesse Lee Peterson is crazy, man. Yo, <laughs> you like white people? Do you? Do you like white people? Me personally, I love white people. I love all people. I have no problem with anybody. I'm saying I'm just trying to live in this life and enjoy life and do what I do naturally but that guy Jesse is crazy man I need to go check him out man but yo it's your boy KK47 I'm about to get up out of here but before I leave please do me a favor hit like subscribe share the video to all your friends do me that solid and I'm gonna keep dropping more videos for y'all man and if you like that video stay tuned for the next one you heard peace JK47, 47, 47. I should have been writing Instead I was in the trap pumping Trying to make something out of nothing Try to take what's mine On the block you must be bugging I will be forced to let the dump or blow a hole inside your pumpkin Bitch the streets is all I know Fuck a hostage diddy ho Dip KO a gangsta bitch One who's trapping with the flow In the summer make it snow Hurricane in the club On my waist is a snub All these To the bag, she clutching her purse, she calling me dad while I'm whipping the vert. The paper plates on the window defrost. I step on the gas. Thank you for checking in with me. Wanna stay updated? Check out this playlist right here. Oh, you still here? Hit subscribe. I hit the block with a pack full of rock.